I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Really. Uh, can we actually give her a phone call or we've used all... Oh, we can say hello again. Why not? This is Toriel. Are you bored? I should have given you a book. Oh, that didn't sound good. I should have given a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch. Rule over the leaf pile with a fist of iron. Can you do that for me? Click. Oh, that's cool. Uh, found a toy knife. I don't think I'm going to be using it, but we might as well equip it to see what happens in our stats. Uh, if I can. You equip the toy knife. Okay, let's see what happened to our stats. Uh, I don't think anything happened. Except for the fact that now we have a toy knife. So we probably do more damage if we could see it. And that means we could probably sell the stick at this point. So, we'll hang on to it. Imagine they're selling over here. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Let us advance forth. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. I'm right here. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Wow, everything's just falling right now. <laughs> not a scratch. Impressive. But still, I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. I'm not small. Uh, might as well get this. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Determination. Woo. All I smell is Jeff. No, I'm Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm I forgot to shower. <laughs> Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I told you I didn't like butterscotch. No, I just said I liked cinnamon over it. Though we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. Sorry, we'll hold off on snail pie. Ew. Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh, I like the music. Very calm. This is it. <coughs> a room of your own. I hope you like it. I'm getting patted on the head. Something burning. Um, make yourself at home. Oh boy. Let's go in. We got these two looking... Well, first we have this like chest of toys. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> we got the bed. Oh, which you can actually jump into. Am I sleepwalking? You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Aw, she left it on the ground for us. That's adorable. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kid shoes and a disparity of sizes. Oh, the music changes when yeah. you... I love that part of this. That's beautiful. Can I just say I love that design? Like, I love that. That's awesome. Uh, let's be curious. Let's keep going. See if there's anything we can interact with along the way. I think you can with those plants. Not, not that one. Not that one. All the way to the left. Yeah. You've seen this type of plant before, but you do not know its name. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's go in this room. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. Oh, if she finds us, we're dead, but that's why we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> you read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely! <laughs> God, that was awful. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. That's great. What happens if we read it again? Is it gonna... It's the same It's thing. the same thing? Alright, that's so awesome. <laughs> Just a regular old bucket of snails. 
Can I jump in your bed? Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Oh, there's one yellow flower all the way at the top there. Anyway, it says, an encyclopedia of sub... Subter... Uh... Subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Tifa, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Ew! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You peek inside. Scandalous. Historical sock drawer. So I think that's cool. I like the design of the... You can actually see the little book. It's circled. And then, I don't know why. Maybe it has something to do with later. But there's that one gold flower all the way at the top there. Got a cactus over here. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most... Sundeer. Of plants. I literally... And the thing is, with that flower... Do you remember the first character you met? Oh my god! It was a yellow flower. That's right! That's true! Always watching. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. What's this say? Room under renovations. Okay. Hey, we got the mirror here. It's you! <laughs> oh! Is a water sausage. Oh, so now we know the name of it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's cool because uh, I love it when the dialogue actually changes after you've done something. Right. So she said there might be a fire, but our house isn't burned down yet, so we should probably go check it out. Uh, let's go this way. Up already, I see. Um, I want to. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for the, your education. Yeah, I could do some education. I don't know how to pronounce anything. This, this may come as a surprise to you. But I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. <laughs> your name is Toriel, the tutorial guide. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, yeah, why not? When can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, sure, let's hear about it. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature. I did not know that if that is true. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming that if I keep talking to her, I'm gonna keep getting facts, and eventually I have to click how to exit the ruins. As far as I know, yes. Okay, so we're gonna do how to exit the ruins because I wanna get back home. I have to do something. Stay here. You're stalling. I don't like it. And, of course, as curious as we are, let's go somewhere else. Hey, the pie. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Psh. Cinnamon and butterscotch. That's an interesting combo. There's something... There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Okay. She is a goat. Oh, duh. Yeah. <laughs> for some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. It's too bad I can't take it. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. <laughs> Alright, um... Can't interact with the fire. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. That would lead me to believe that it's of the war that they fought. Maybe not, but <laughs> that would be interesting if this place was actually called home. Again, Jeff is being silent because he knows, he knows, and I, you know, he doesn't want to give anything away. I know away. certain things, and I can't say he's wrong, nor I can't say he's right. So... It says, the ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. The tutorial is very, uh, safe, shall we say. Um, I mean, this would be the way to exit, but there's still this stuff we can explore, so we might as well. 
Uh, this place looks like... Oh, okay. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? I do. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! I want to go home. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you not, do you understand? Go to your room. Just about everyone I've seen play this game pronounces Asgore, Asgore. Asgore. <laughs> do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Screw you. <laughs> you want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh boy! Toya blocks the way. Alright, let's talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Well, I suppose this would be- Oh god! Toya looks through you. Oh, this music is awesome. I'm gonna lower it just a little bit on the TV here, but wow, I really like the music a lot. Alright, so... Let's talk to her again. I try to think of something to say again, but... Oh man, she's really difficult to dodge. Toya looks through. Let's talk again. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to the situation. What?! Oh! Oh no, I didn't know the animation continued! Toya looks through. Am I supposed to lose this? Because I'm like... I'm like, I'm gonna die. I feel like I have to use candy or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep talking. Ironically, talking, yeah. I think I'm actually supposed to die here. And that could be absolutely wrong, but you know what? All I'm going to say is that every situation can be solved pessimistically. Alright. That is right. Go upstairs. Already? What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Oh crap, okay. So that was not- <laughs> that was not the, uh... That was not the, uh, correct... thing to do. Let's eat the spider donut. Oh, I'm getting better at this, alright. It's a deep breath. Let's check. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god. <coughs> it's a deep breath. Alright, we're only at 9 HP. Stop. Couldn't think of any conversation topics. Damn. Oh. Talking is not the way. Talking's not the way. Alright. I gotta use another monster candy. Crap, it's really hard to dodge. Oh no! Do not eat the pie. Nor. You don't really need to eat the monster candy either. Okay. So if talking is not the way, and running didn't get you anywhere, what can you do? Well, I. Fight's obviously not gonna be what I wanna do, so spare, I think, is the only thing I haven't done. Please don't hurt me. There's a magical attack. Do it again. Okay, I see two dots. Crap. Okay, let's do it. Three dots. Or three pairs of dots. Oh damn, we're getting so low. Alright, her face is changing, and her attacks are actually avoiding me. There's a magical attack. What are you doing? Oh, they, they actually avoid me, so I can just... 
prepares a mat. She's still preparing the magical attack. Attack or run away. I will not. I will spare you. What are you proving this way? Fight me or leave! Well, I'm gonna try it one more time. Stop it. Okay, we got different dialogue there, so... And... Let's keep going. Stop looking at me that way. Alright. Go away! Alright, we're still getting that dialogue. Uh, okay. More dots. More, More dots. dots. Okay, good. So now, all right, I'm on the right track at the moment, so that's good. I love the music for this, though. This is cool. I know you want to go home, but... Thank you. 